Uh, morning, guys. Uh, I haven't seen you guys for a long time. I think it's about two weeks, and、um, so I returned from Japan in late January, and I've been staying home since then. How about you?、Uh, you doing well?、Um, hope you're healthy and safe. So、uh, this morning we're going to look at、uh, Unit Three. We're going to look at the passage in Unit Three. So、um, please take out your textbook, focus, and、uh, look at page forty of your book. Page forty of your book. So today we're going to look at、uh, the passage on these two pages, right? So、uh, let's look at question one. So we have done this before, so we'll skip this part. We'll start with、uh, question two. All right, let's take a look together. So you're going to read three entries for holiday writing competition. Follow the steps. So first, you have to read the competition instructions, which are here. Okay, take a look. Would you like to win a digital camera? Write about a memorable holiday. Your entry, and then okay, the next page. You take a look at the、uh, instructions first, right? Okay. And then we turn back to the question.、Uh, look at the photos and titles, and predict what each story is about. So try to look at the pictures, and predict what the passage or the entries are about. Sorry, I can only have、uh, black and white pictures、uh, here. Okay, so look at the colored pictures in your book. All right, then.、Uh, And we will skip this because we don't have a partner right now, so we'll skip this part. Okay, and then、uh, we're going to go through the passage together. So now, please take out a green highlight pen. We're going to highlight some words, and、uh, as usual, please copy them in your notebook three times each. Right? Okay. Let's take a look at、uh, the title first. So take out a green pen, green highlight pen. Okay, the first one、uh, here. Sorry about the scanning. There should be an R here. Okay, so it should be globe trotter, globe trotter. So what is a、uh, what is a globe trotter? So first of all, we can、uh, break down the word into two parts. The first one is globe. So globe is like the Earth, right? And then trot, it's、uh, when people get to a place in a quick way. Trot. Okay, when we say a person trots, it means he or she gets to a place in a quick way. Okay, so together, globe trotter. Can you guess what it means? It means people. It refers to people who travel to a lot of different countries. Okay, so the first one, globe trotter. So the title is globe trotter travel competition. So let's look at the next line. Would you like to win a digital camera? You write about a memorable holiday. So, what is a memorable holiday? Please highlight the word memorable. You must know what a memory is, right? So, memorable is、uh, something that is likely to be remembered. Okay, memorable holiday. And then, okay, so this is number one, globe trotting. Number two, memorable holiday. Memorable.、Uh, so, please write down these words in your notebook and copy them three times. Okay, your entry, and then、uh, look at the title. Your entry must be entertaining, so entertaining, so that is funny and enjoyable. Entertaining, funny and enjoyable. This is number three. Describe an unexpected event.、Uh, include lots of creative description between the words of fewer. So these are the competition instructions, and I want you to highlight the word competition. So you must know what a competition is, right? But I want you to write down its verb. So what is the verb for competition? Okay, so it should be compete. Compete. Okay, that is to play、uh, in a game. Okay, compete. And then,、uh, what is the noun other than competition?、Uh, if we talk about the people. Please write this down. It should be competitor. Okay, so but pay attention to the spelling. Competitor should end with o r instead of e r. Okay, so make sure you know this one. Competition, competes, and competitor. Okay, so let's move on to、uh, the first entry. Okay, 
the first entry under a canoe. So a canoe is like uh, this thing here. Canoe is like a, this thing, a small boat. So I was in the lake district with my family for our summer holiday. There were four of us: dad, mom, my grumpy twelve-year-old sister, and me. So grumpy, grumpy. So it, it um, if a person is grumpy, it means he or she is easily annoyed. All right. So this should be number. Let me take a look. This should be number. Competition is four, so this one should be five. Grumpy. Easily annoyed. So my grumpy twelve-year-old sister and me on the first day it was raining, but we decided to hire some canoes. Okay. And then mom and I set off in our canoe while dad had to share with my sister and put up with her bad mood. So set off should be number six. So set off means to start on a trip. Start on a trip, and put up with her bad mood. So put up with is number seven. So if you put up with someone or if you put up with something, it means you tolerate their behavior. Okay, tolerate their behavior. Okay, the lake was calm. It stopped raining, and I felt the warmth of the sun on my shoulders. All around us were dense forests and steep hills. On the other side, a waterfall cascaded down the hillside into the lake. Okay, so cascaded. Uh, sorry about the scanning. There should be a D. Okay, so what is cascade? So cascade highlight the word please. So it can be uh it has it can be a verb, but here it is, okay it can be a verb it can be a noun, it means to fall quickly, and in large amounts. Okay so we usually use it to describe a waterfall. A waterfall, right? So cascaded is the past tense of cascade. Okay so cascade should be like this c a s c a. D E cascade. So a waterfall cascaded down a hillside into the lake. This is all right, I thought. Seconds later, I was less happy while he was admiring the view that crashed into our canoe and knocked us into the river. Oh, sorry, into the water. It was cold, extremely cold, and wet. All right, and then fortunately we survived. So please highlight the word survived. Unfortunately. So fortunately, uh, I'm sure you know what it means. It means luckily. Right, fortunate is the same as lucky, and survived should be number ten. So survived means we continue to live. Okay, we didn't die. We continue to live. Survive, and please write down its noun form. Okay, its noun form should be survival. Survival should be its noun form. Survival. So we survived. Uh, the cold and the embarrassment. So embarrassment. Please highlight the word embarrassment. This is number eleven. Embarrassment. So the verb is embarrass. Noun is embarrassment. So if you embarrass someone, you make people feel、uh, nervous, worried, or uncomfortable. Okay. So embarrassment is is a noun. And my sister thought it was so amusing. She cheered up. Finally. Okay, so amusing, it's、uh, number eleven. So if something is amusing,、uh, it means something is entertaining. Okay, amusing. And then she wrote, she wore a smile for the rest of the holiday. So this is entry number one. All right, can you follow? Then、uh, let's move on to the second entry. The second one. So a perfect sunset. My girlfriend Betty and I were in Barcelona for a weekend. We had no plans and spoke no Spanish. We looked through a Spanish guidebook in our youth hostel. So remember, we have seen this word before, right? Hostel. So what? Which number is it? Oh, sorry. Amusing should be number twelve, and then、uh, this one should be thirteen. Hostel. So what is a hostel? Hostel is a large house where people can stay. Cheaply, okay. So it is much cheaper than a hotel. We call it a, a hostel. And then we eventually decided to go to the top of Tibadabo, a mountain overlooking、uh, Barcelona. All right. And then、uh, the next one, overlooking, overlook. Please highlight the word overlook. So、uh, to provide a view of something. Okay. 
So the mountain provides a view of Barcelona. It means to overlook. So this is one of its meanings, overlook. Okay, uh, sorry about the picture. You can look at the picture in your book. You should see a beautiful mountain. And that one is uh, Tibetabo. All right. And the city should be Barcelona, of course. And we look at the next part. If we were lucky, we could watch the sunset over the city. We set off by bus from the main square. The bus look us, sorry, took us higher and higher above the city. I couldn't wait to gaze at the stunning views over Barcelona. So gaze. Please highlight the phrase gaze. It should be number 15. Gaze uh, is a verb, obviously. So uh, if you gaze at something, it means to look at something for a long time. Okay, let's just look at it. You look at it for a long time. Gaze at. And then stunning views. Uh, stunning. So what does it mean? This would be number 16. Stunning. Extremely beautiful, attractive. Okay, so we normally use it to describe uh, a picture, a view, or sometimes uh, a woman, a girl, a stunning. Okay. And then at every stop, passengers got off until we were the only two left. Then the bus driver stopped the bus and got off too. Tibetabo, we asked him. He pointed to a mountain on the other side of the valley. We were on the wrong mountain. All right. Next paragraph. We sat on a bench overlooking the sparkling lights of the city far below. So sparkling, what is sparkling? If something is sparkling, it is shining brightly. Okay, something that is shining brightly, sparkling lights of the city far below. We had no idea where we were, but we didn't care because we got a perfect view of a blood red sunset over Barcelona. So the next one, blood red. Uh, so what is the... Part of speech of blood red. This should be number 18. So blood red should be an adjective. Remember, if we have a hyphen in between two words, um, very likely it is uh, an adjective. So blood red means uh, the color is red. It's like blood. All right, the second passage, second entry. Okay, we will move on to the third one. Out in the wild. So I love wild animals. So my parents took me on holiday to South Africa for my 18th birthday. I remember the holiday as a series of images. The cold blue ocean, funny penguins, miles of unspoiled beaches. So unspoiled is the next one. And it should be number 19. Unspoiled. So again, it should be an adjective. Unspoiled beaches. So uh, if something is unspoiled, it is not damaged by people, okay? So it means that the beaches are clean and uh, there isn't any litter or rubbish. And the lively cafes and friendly people. But the highlight of the holiday was a three-day safari. So what is a safari? Number 20, safari, uh, is an organized journey to look at wild animals, uh, in the in the wild okay so normally you travel on a jeep and then uh, the jeep will take you uh to a park no it's not a park it's out in the wild okay it's not a exactly a park so you're going to look at lions and tigers and maybe giraffes okay so we call that journey a safari all right and then uh next paragraph Safari parks in South Africa were, uh, sorry, are covered in trees and bushes. This makes it difficult to spot animals. So spot here is a verb. Okay, so should be number 21. Spot. So to spot something or someone, it means to see or notice something or someone. Okay, to notice something. So this makes it difficult to spot animals. But our safari rangers were really good at finding them. We saw elephants, giraffes, zebras, buffalo bathing in the lake, and a family of lions sleeping peacefully under a tree. So pay attention to the spelling of giraffes. Okay, number 22, giraffes. So normally it ends with an E. Okay, giraffes. And then uh, suddenly we heard a noise close to the jeep. There was a flash of yellow and a loud roar. So what is a roar? Roar is like uh, to make a loud, uh, long and deep sound. Okay, so we heard, so it can be a verb, it can be a noun. Here it is a noun because a loud roar, but it can also be a verb with the same spelling, right? 
Okay, nobody moved a muscle, so everybody was nervous. The leopard went back into the bush and left us feeling terrified. So, what is a leopard? Leopard, twenty-four is an is an animal. So, what is a what is a leopard? I will take a look. All right, so this is、uh, a leopard. All right. Already. Okay, not far away. Set two small leopard cubs. At that moment, I learned something. Humans created the internet and spaceships, but we were we are helpless in the face of nature. Okay, so that is、uh, that is the end of the passage. And now you are going to look at this one. Okay, so now please do question three. So read the story, and then、uh, for questions one to six, choose from the stories. A to C. So to write down、uh, the letter A, B, or C next to the number here, right? And then you're going to finish question four as well. You have to match the words in blue in the stories with these phrases. Okay. For example, number one, bright lights. It should be a phrase from one of the entries. Okay. So now please do question three and four. So we can now pause the video, and then we'll come back. And then we'll check the answers together.